All right. Well, it is officially our official start time. Let's go ahead and find our way to any seat, any shape that feels good for you here and start to bring your breath into focus. So letting go of anything that maybe isn't quite in the forefront of your attention that you don't need. Things that are kind of rattling around in there that are just threatening to pop in as soon as there's space. Go ahead and push those things on their little way. So your to-do list, maybe whatever you had going on before you came to class. Making the effort, making the effort to let those things drift out of your focus, which is essentially all meditation is, right? So meditation is not clearing the mind because to clear the mind is actually impossible. Uh, but it's more about hyper-focusing on one thing. So if we let the other things kind of drift away and out of our focus and they become the background, then that leaves room for only one spotlight. Let that spotlight be your breath today. Inhaling through the crown of the head, big inhale. And then go ahead and open mouth sigh for this first one. Let everything melt away as you exhale. Let's go ahead and take another big inhale, but this time draw your shoulders up to your ears and then push them back behind you. Even the elbows are going to squeeze back behind you. And as you exhale, let the shoulders fall back and down and away. Inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, push them back behind you and then down. Last one, inhale, shoulders up towards the ears. Roll them back, let them settle in. Good. Bring your left hand to the mat, or if you like to mirror me, a right hand, but left hand to the mat, and bring your right hand around behind you and see if you can kind of grab onto that arm behind you. And if you can't, that's okay. Just let that right arm be behind you, um, kind of opening up through that shoulder. So we're just going to open up a little bit. You'll feel this definitely in your right bicep bicep kind of in the deltoid bicep area depends on where you're tight today just go ahead and pull the shoulders back lift the heart up try to breathe into that shape and then if you'd like it feels good to then maybe pull the right ear to the right shoulder increase that stretch let the chin fall down towards the chest head falls forward and then left ear left shoulder back through neutral with the head, lifting the chin, and then release that right arm. Give it a little shake out. And we're gonna take it to the other side. So the right arm comes out towards your side. You're going to grab around with the left arm, grab onto the elbow, and then find that little stretch shape. And I can definitely tell one side is much less accessible than the other today. Uh, right ear, right shoulder. Chin to chest. Feel the length of the back of the spine. Left ear, left shoulder. Nice. Go ahead and release that hand. Bring your head back to neutral. Hoo wee. God, just opening up the heart a little bit there. We're going to start with an easy twist. So extend your legs out in front of you and then just walk the right foot to the outside of the left leg. It doesn't have to be super tight for this first one, just a very gentle stretch uh, to um, even so gentle that we're not going to hook the elbow on the outside. We're just going to wrap the elbow around the front of the right leg and use the right hand to kind of brace you as you look out over the right shoulder. So left elbow wraps around the front of your right leg and you're looking out over the right shoulder. Just a nice gentle twist here. Just 
Beautiful. Come back through center. Release both legs out long onto the mat. Bring the toes back towards your face. And then walk your fingers with a nice flat back. Hinge from your shoulders and walk your fingers forward towards the feet. Walk those hands all the way back and up. And let's go right to the other side. Left foot steps to the outside of the right foot or the right leg. Wrap the elbow around the front of the leg. Lift the heart up and just look over your back shoulder. So you might just let your fingers kind of reach behind you. Squishing both sit bones onto the mat. Perfect, come all the way back through center. Extend the legs nice and long here. Give them a nice little tap out. And then we're headed towards our tabletop shape. So hands and knees, take your time getting there. Knees are underneath the hips, hands are underneath the shoulders. And let's just take a few rounds of cat cow to articulate. So we loosened up the spine, push the knees into the mat, push the heels of the hands into the mat, fingers splay wide, grip the mat with your fingers, tuck your chin in towards your chest and round the back. Pull belly button up and in like you're trying to pull it up, up underneath the ribs. Exhale, tailbone lifts, belly drops, head and heart lift between the shoulders. Exhale to round, find your Halloween kitty. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Inhale to lift. And then we're going to find a neutral spine here. So push into the mat, pull that belly button up. Think about creating that length from shoulder to hip. Left knee comes underneath the hip, so walk it a little bit closer to the midline and step your right foot out behind you. So curl the toes under and push into the heel there. So just opening up through the calf. And then we're going to float that heel even with the hip. So when you float that heel up, I want you to feel where the leg meets the butt there and feel that right in that area. Flexing, pushing out through that heel. Push the toes back down to the mat, lower the leg, and then inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and lower. So you'll really feel this through the hamstring strengthening. Lift. In yoga, we almost never strengthen our hamstrings. We're always lengthening them and lift. So we're gonna curl those toes under and then find your way up and back one leg or three legged downward dog so that left leg is going to float up behind you. And then step through between the hands. So left foot comes between the hands, right leg cup, right knee comes down to the mat, sweep the arms all the way up. Find your way to the nice low lunge. And then find your nice hip opener here. Hips reach down, look up towards the hands. If you have the space today, you're going to bring those palms together. Otherwise, you're going to find this nice V shape or somewhere in between. Nice. Both hands come down, curl the toes under on that right leg, step back into your tabletop shape. So here we go. Three cat cows. Exhale, press and ground. Inhale, lift to the tailbone. Exhale, press and round. So think of this rippling through the whole core, right? So belly to back, shoulders to hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, last one. And then think about stacking the uh, spine as you find that neutral spine. Zip up the belly, step the left foot back, curl the toes under and push into that heel. So you'll notice right away if you have some tightness somewhere, especially if you wear heels a lot. You'll definitely feel this. All right, we have our five lifts. So think about engaging through the glute muscles. So you're really using the top of the leg and the butt muscles to lift that leg up. So the heel is just a little bit higher than the hip and then lower without swinging that hip open. Lift, lower, nice. We have two more just like that. Last two, last one. Go ahead and curl that toe under and find your way up and back. Three-legged dog, right leg reaches behind you and then steps 
in between the hands, left knee comes down, reach the arms all the way up, sink into the shape, reach the hands all the way up, look up. If looking up is too much of a challenge for your balance, you can look straight ahead or down at your knee. Perfect. Both hands come down, lift that back knee. We're stepping forward, finding your way towards your forward fold, middle of the mat, feet are underneath your hips, head is super heavy, crown of the head reaches towards the mat, bend the knees as much as you need to, and let your body just drape over the legs. We're gonna roll up one vertebrae at a time, pushing into the heels. Think about activating the legs all the way up, super duper slow how the Tin Man probably feels as he's starting to get moving. Shoulders roll back, palms face forward, stacking the head right on top of the neck and then close the eyes. So lift all 10 toes, spread them nice and wide, place them back down. If you're on carpet, balance is a much bigger deal. It's more of a challenge. So you have that to work with. Grip into the mat. You can open your eyes if you need to, or hang onto a wall or something that's close at hand if you need to. We're going to lift up onto the toes, onto the balls of the feet, lift the heels up off the mat. Let the ankles calibrate. They might rock a little side to side, that's normal. Exhale, lower the heels down and rock back onto your heels without sitting back. So you're just rocking gently back. Lifting up onto the toes, onto the balls of the feet. And then exhale back. Nice. And just gently rocking back and forth. Nice. Last one. And then we're going to find all four corners on the mat. Sweep the arms nice and wide. Look up. Take a tiny little back bend here. Draw the hands down through heart center. Find your prayer hands in front of your head. Root down through all four corners of the, the feet and make sure you have a tiny bend in your knees. You don't want to ever want to lock out any of the joints. Nice. Relax your shoulders. Let's set our intention. What came, what brought you to your mat today? That feeling of needing to just be moving, that feeling of just needing that sense of everybody doing this all together. Setting your intention. Blink the eyes open if they weren't already. Inhale, reach all the way up, press palms together. Exhale, draw the hands down, fold over the legs. Nice, big forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, we're gonna step back with the right foot. Find your way to warrior one. So plant the right foot down, toes aim towards, what is that, like four o'clock there? Bend the knee on the left side and reach all the way up. Hips are square, you're on a nice railroad track here. Nice. Take your time here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink into your version of the shape. If your right foot is really coming off the mat, then just back out of that bend into that left knee a little bit. Still very early yet. Exhale, we're gonna reach and hinge forward. Float over the thigh, reach forward, and then bring the hands to the mat. Step forward, forward, fold, feet are hip width. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left foot steps back into that same warrior one second side. Reach all the way up. Just testing the waters. Look up. Relax your shoulders. On your next exhale, root down through the right heel. Hinge forward. Look forward. And then both hands come down either side of that front foot. Step forward, wide stance, forward fold. You can even wrap your peace fingers around big toes as the elbows melt out to the side and melt down over the thighs. Fingertips come to the mat, inhale, half lift. Root down through all four corners of the feet, exhale, fold, sweep the arms nice and wide, reach all the way back up. We're coming back to right where we started, hands to heart center, close the eyes. Two breaths, two breaths here. Inhale, reach the crown of the head up, exhale, relax the shoulders down. Create length and then settle in. Nice. 
Inhale, sweep the arms all the way out and up. If you don't have the room, you can just go straight up forward. Exhale, fold, forward, fold. Once you find this fold, bring your arms around behind you, interlace the fingers, and let them fall overhead. Beautiful. Go ahead and drop the hands down to the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back. Let's find that warrior one. Let's see how it's different. Bend into the left knee, right foot, step back. Inhale, all the way up. Good. Exhale, straighten the front leg as you hinge forward. And then maybe using your block here, mine's way behind me, uh, or you can put your hands on your shin. Or if you have the space, you might even bring your fingers down to either side of that front foot. So that back foot is still planted melting down over the legs. So now this is where we lengthen our hamstrings. Inhale, find a half lift, bend into the left knee, peel the right toes off or the right heel off the mat so you're on the right toes, right hand plants under your shoulder. Take that easy twist. Nice, both hands come down. Step forward, forward, fold. Again, peace fingers around big toe, float down over the legs, drop the crown of the head, and the elbows out to the side, perhaps. Lift the sit bones up to the sky. Release the toes, bring the fingers to the mat just in front of the feet. Inhale, half lift. Step back, right foot, or left foot. Find your way into that warrior one. Reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, straighten the right leg, hinge from the hips. Reach out as if you're reaching past the legs. So you really have to strengthen into that front leg. And then exhale, fold down your version of your fold here. Inhale, half lift, bend into that knee, peel that back heel off the mat, place the left hand down and reach the right arm up. Find your twist. So you wanna squeeze both knees towards the midline here. That'll get you up out of the shoulder. Both hands come down and then step forward. Melt down over the legs, completely empty your lungs, sweep the arms nice and wide for the inhale, come all the way up. Press palms together, hands to heart center. Two breaths. We're gonna keep taking this little reset here at the top of every flow. Kind of like that built-in reset that comes, or that we should have in our days. Inhale, reach the arms nice and wide, press palms together, exhale, fold. Nice. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, we're stepping back with the right foot, but this time we're coming to that crescent. So the back heel is lifted, right hand stays on the mat, take that easy twist. I don't know why I say it's an easy twist. I mean, that's the name of it. So from here, make sure that you have a nice base set and we're going to reuse that left hand to pull you back up. So your revolved crescent, right hand forward, left hand back. Nice, that's a little tricky, right? Both hands come down to either side of the front foot. We're stepping right foot up next to the left foot. Big toes touch a little space between the heels. Sit back, sit down into your chair. Hands come to heart center. Whatever version of chair you're in today, make sure your feet are in line. You can reach your arms out in front of you. You can sit way back. And then we're going to fold down, melt down over the legs. Ooh-wee, needed that. Inhale, half lift. Left leg is going to step back. Find your way into that crescent stance. Left foot down or left hand down, reach the right arm up. Take that easy twist. So the more you kind of grip the feet into the mat, kind of pull them towards each other, the easier it is to find this revolved crescent as you come up, left arm forward, right arm back.
Beautiful. Both hands swivel down either side of that front foot. Step forward. We're going to find our way to that chair pose. Maybe a little space between the feet if that feels better for you. Sit back, sit down, reach the arms forward. Nice. So we're going down to the mat. You can do this without your hands or with it. I'm going to show it to you with. So fold down over the legs. Use the hands on the mat. Peel the heels up off the mat. If you're not using your hands, you're just going to squat down. And then lower the hips to the heels using your hands to help you. And then we're just going to sit back. Ooh -wee. Onto your mat. Whew, that wasn't so bad. Left leg steps out just a tiny bit so that you can bring the right foot into the inseam. Turn so that you're facing that left knee and then fold down over the left leg. So this is my knee that gives me trouble. So I'm just going to prop my knee up on the block. If you don't have a block handy, you can use a pillow or you can uh, let your foot be further away from the thigh and that will help too. Go ahead and use your hands, walk yourself back up. So keeping that uh, left foot on the mat or the left leg on the mat, cross the right ankle over the knee and then just slide your left foot in towards your body. So you control how much of a hip opener you get here. If you need a little bit more, you're going to walk yourself closer to the heel. Flexing through the foot, rocking a little bit side to side. Use your hands. Go ahead and slide yourself back out and then extend both legs out in front of you. Hooey. Take that little break. Go ahead and get the circulation going and then place that left foot inside the right inseam. Make sure your shoulders are square so that they're evenly placed on either side of what would be that foot and then melt down over that right leg. So if you can reach the foot, you might use that to enhance your stretch or you can just bring your hands to your pant leg or wherever it feels good. Inhale, find length, exhale, find depth into the shape. These forward folds are great for bringing a stop to the adrenals, whether you realize it or not. We all have a little bit of stress in our lives. So giving the adrenals that cue to slow down and stop producing cortisol is a good thing. Inhale, sit back up, cross that left ankle over the right knee, and then find your way to that seated figure four, your choice. Nice. Use your hands to unwind, unravel, unhook that left foot, and then just sweep your legs out to the side. We're coming to a forward fold top of the mat. Curl the toes under. Walk your feet forward towards the hands, your hands towards, towards the feet. Wherever you end up, find that forward fold. Grab opposite elbows, or if you want a bigger shoulder opener, you're going to bring the hands behind you and let them fall towards the front of the mat, and then melt. Fingertips come down to the mat. Inhale, half lift. Find that nice flat back. Zip up through the back of the whole back body. And then step the left leg back. Line up heel to arch alignment. Warrior two. Open all the way up. So we did that hip opening before we got here. 
makes a little bit of a difference. Sink down into your shape. Relax your shoulders. Nice. Elbow to knee, left arm overhead. So we're going to flow through this a little bit differently than we usually do. We're going to take this left arm back, right arm up, straighten the right leg, and then sink down into your goddess, so toes out, heels in. So take your time to make that transition, and then bring both hands down to the knees. Fold the right shoulder forward. That's a nice stretch. Then maybe the left. Inhale, lift up. We're going to bend into that left knee. Place the right heel back. And now we're magically in warrior two facing the other side. So lots of hip opening. Look out over that left shoulder. Maybe test your edge. Elbow to knee, right arm up overhead. Perfect, and let's find our way back to that goddess shape. So we're going to open up, heels out, toes in, sit down, hands come to the shoulders, right shoulder first, look over the right shoulder. Inhale, lift, left shoulder. And then standing all the way back up, turning right toes forward, left heel out, right hand forward. Back into that warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse, finding a triangle. So straighten that right leg, hinge and reach, and fold down left arm up. Getting dizzy with going all the way around the mat. Both hands come down to the mat and then turn your toes as you walk towards the, what is the left side of your mat? And then maybe if your block is handy, you can bring your forearms to your block. That sometimes feels really good. Or if you have the room, you can bring your forehead to the block. It's entirely up to you. Or if you don't need either of those things, you can keep your hands right under your shoulders and stay up a little bit higher. One more breath, melt down over the legs. Little tiny micro bend in the knee actually helps you to find the depth that you need here. Inhale, half lift, walk your hands towards the left, turn left toes towards the back of the mat, find your way to that warrior two. So your right foot probably doesn't need to move, but if it does, go ahead and adjust it. Inhale, flip the palm reverse. Actually feels kind of nice today. Exhale, hinge, straighten, fold down, find your way to that triangle shape. It's a great place for a block. If you have to fold forward to touch the floor, a block is a great thing to do to open up through the heart and the shoulder space. Nice, beautiful. Bend that left knee enough so that you can get both hands to the mat. Turn your toes slightly in, both feet. Let's slide down one more time. This time interlace the fingers behind the back and let the hands fall overhead. So if you don't feel balanced here because you're on carpet or you just don't like this shape, you can always keep your hands on the mat, it's okay. Nice. Bring those hands down. We've done a lot of hip openings, so now come into a nice, juicy, long-held hold. Walk towards the front of the mat. Step the legs back behind you, and then big toes touch. Knees come nice and wide, sitting down. Again, you can always use your block here. We're settling into our child's pose. Your ribs on either or right between the thighs. Forehead comes to the mat. It's tough to hear me with my forehead all the way down, so I'm just going to bring my head to a mat or to a block and settle down into this shape. So if your heels, if your hips don't come all the way to the heels, that's okay. Again, you can put the block between your heels and sit down on top of it. You can roll a blanket or a towel up behind your knees and use that instead of a block if you don't have one handy. 
Let your arms reach nice and long down the mat. Keep your arms active here, like you're actively stretching out the upper back. We're just going to lift the head for a moment, walk the left hand towards the middle of the mat, and then slide the right arm underneath towards the left. And then you may be using your chin to kind of tap that shoulder in place, bring your forehead to the mat. Lift the forehead, scoop that right arm out from underneath, place it where the left hand was, and then just slide the left hand over towards the right. Use your right hand to prop you up. Move that left hand out from underneath and then go ahead and rock up tabletop shape. Move the block out of the way, hands and knees. Knees are right underneath the hands. Let's take a few rounds of cat and cow here. Exhale, press to the mat. Inhale to lift. Exhale, there might be some stiffness. Inhale to lift. Exhale to press. Nice, inhale to lift, perfect. And then go ahead and cross the ankles or don't, it's up to you. And then sit down, let the feet come all the way out in front of you. And we're coming all the way down onto our backs. Bring those knees in towards the heart space. Give them a nice big hug. Hang on to the right knee, put the left foot on the floor. You can hang out here, this is enough for most of us, and then extend the right foot up towards the ceiling. So just bring the hands behind the leg. If you're feeling a nice stretch through the hamstring, you don't need to go any further. We did a little bit of stretching there. If you have the space and you need the deeper stretch, you can reach up and grab onto the big toe with peace fingers or onto wrapping your hand around the foot. If you're still not getting a stretch, so along that back or kind of to the outside, the back outside, then go ahead and extend the left leg long. Now I have a tiny micro bend in my knee just because uh, it gives a little bit more space in the back body if you engage the front. Nice. You can either rebend this left leg or keep it right where it is. You're going to bend the right knee into a half happy baby. So switching your grip from the big toes to the outside of that right leg and then opening the hip. So open that hip out towards the shoulder on the right side. Using your left hand the outside of the left knee or the left foot and then draw that leg across you over towards the right finding your way into that little deeper twist you can look out of the right shoulder if that feels good or keep looking over the left or straight up towards the ceiling. Come back to your breath here. I am breathing in. I am breathing out.
using your hand to help you. Come back through center, pull both knees back into the heart space. Maybe tuck your chin, give yourself a nice little back massage here. Right foot comes to the floor, left knee comes in. Drop your head back to the mat. You can hang out here. You can extend that left leg. Flex through the left foot, maybe. Hang on to the big toes. Maybe stretch that right leg out long. You can always back out for whatever you need. Left knee folds out to the side. You can switch your grip to the pinky toe side of that foot. Half happy baby. If you don't have the space, bend that right foot. So you control how much of a stretch by whether or not you bring that leg all the way down to the floor and fold towards it, or if you keep that thigh somewhat above the ribs. Switching your grip and then drawing that right leg or left leg over towards the right or towards the wall or into the wall. Left leg reaches long. Unwind, unravel, come back through center. Pull both knees in. Give yourself that nice juicy hug. And then Yogi's Choice, however you'd like to wrap up your class. So maybe uh, coming up onto a bolster if you have one, or maybe finding your soup de bata, so your butterfly, reclining butterfly, big to uh, feet, touching knees out to the side. We did some hip work today. Or if you'd really just rather a traditional Shavasana, because that feels really good too. Reach the feet towards either corner of the mat, shoulders come back and down. into your breath, inhaling nice and long, exhaling, letting everything go.
beginning to bring movement to fingers and toes. Finding the intention you set at the beginning of class, bringing it to your attention, bringing it to the front of your awareness. Rolling towards one side and pausing there. Using your hands to help you coming back to any seat that seems right for completing your practice today. Let's take the next five rounds of breath to find that stillness that drew you to your mat today. Keeping your awareness on nothing but your breath. Taking this sense of peace and calm with you throughout the rest of your day whatever that may bring throughout whatever you have lined up for today, knowing that you found some Zen in the middle of it. You were able to push everything to the side and find a little bit of peace, even if it was only touch and go throughout the class. Bringing hands to heart center if you choose, maybe bowing your head if you like. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. Have a fabulous rest of your day, yogis. Namaste.